So welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to have a look at the async and defer attributes of the script tag in JavaScript. We will see what's the difference between the async and the defer attributes and how your browser behaves differently when you try to use either of these two attributes. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to see how the browser treats script tags that are loaded with either async or defer attributes, we first need to understand how the browser parses the HTML document. So let's look at this HTML page. The browser always parses your HTML document from top to bottom, reading it line by line. Now let's change this HTML a bit and add some static elements such as images using the image tag and some CSS as well. When you have the images and CSS in your DOM, the browser will start parsing your HTML from top to bottom and move towards the bottom of the document. When it encounters CSS and images, it waits for the images as well as the CSS to load completely and then moves on to the next line of HTML. So we can say that CSS and images are render blocking for HTML. Now images can be lazy loaded, but we won't get into that. Now let's add a script tag and use a simple inline JavaScript. Whenever JavaScript is inline in HTML, it always acts as render blocking. So while the browser passes through the DOM, it waits for the inline JavaScript to load and then moves on to the rest of the DOM elements. That's the reason it's always suggested to have all your inline JavaScript before the closing body tag in the footer. This is an important takeaway. Inline JavaScript is render blocking no matter what. Now what would happen when you would include an external JavaScript file using the script tag? There are three ways of doing it and we will look at each of the cases and try to understand how they differ from each other. The first case is by using the script tag without any attribute. So we do not use either the async or the defer attribute. The second option is using the script tag along with the async attribute. And last but not the least is the same script tag used with the defer attribute. Let's check out how the browser treats each of these cases. In the case of script tag without any attribute, the browser starts parsing the DOM and the moment it reaches the script tag, it starts parsing the JavaScript file and executes it as well. It completely parses the JavaScript file and executes it before moving on to the next line of HTML. So in this case, when the script tag is used without the async and defer attributes, it is treated as render blocking. Now let's look at the second case, which is the script tag with the async attribute. Async stands for asynchronous. In this case, the browser starts parsing the DOM and the moment it reaches the script tag, it starts parsing the script tag simultaneously along with the HTML. In this case, the browser does not wait for JavaScript file, but continues to load the HTML. The moment the browser has parsed the JavaScript file, it starts executing it as well. It does not wait for the DOM to load completely before executing the JavaScript. This is an important takeaway because if the JavaScript depends on some of the DOM elements, then this is not a good attribute to use. Since it loads and executes JavaScript simultaneously along with HTML, you are never sure when the JavaScript will get executed and whether at that time the DOM would be ready or not. The third case is a script tag with the defer attribute. In this case, the browser starts parsing the DOM and as soon as it comes across the script tag with the defer attribute, it starts loading JavaScript as well, just like it does with the async attribute. The difference here, however, is that it does not execute the JavaScript file. It waits for the HTML DOM to be parsed completely before executing the JavaScript. So in case your JavaScript has certain elements in the DOM that it depends on, you can be assured of getting access to those elements if you load your JavaScript using the defer attribute. Now the question is, which one should you use? The answer is that it depends. 
So if your JavaScript has certain dependency on any of the DOM elements, then you must use the defer attribute. On the other hand, if you're loading a library like jQuery on which other scripts depend, then you might not want to use either of the two and make sure that the library is loaded before the browser continues to the next scripts. Lastly, if your JavaScript does not have dependency on any of the DOM elements and does something like user tracking and executes individually, then you can always use the async attribute. We would understand more about this as we make progress in our course. And for the sake of keeping things simple as of now, I'm going to use a script tag without any attributes in my code for future lessons. I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.